Okay, so before we even start this video, I want to apologize for the horrendous noise of my laptop overheating in the background of this video. Since then, um, I have, like, made the effort to, one, I'm going to start using a mic, two, make sure there isn't any background programs running, because most of the time I do have either iMovie or, um, photos or after effects or some insanely like final cut pro or like even sony vegas because i've been trying to use that i do have that normally running in the background and i apologize so much because it makes my laptop go crazy my laptop already overheats enough with it just recording and playing star stable so put on top having all these other crazy shenanigans of these programs running in the background, it really messes up my audio, so I really want to apologize for that and enjoy this video. Hello everyone, my name is Zelda Hawkart and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the English Thoroughbred, the new revamped English Thoroughbred, because I believe that there were other English Thoroughbreds that were like the starter horses or the starter types. I'm sorry if I sound a bit sick, um, I am sick, but I figured, you know, I'll just record this anyways so that I can upload something. I'm sorry I've been away, a lot of stuff has happened, but I am back and with the review. So, with the English Thoroughbred, its Arabian lineage makes the English Thoroughbred a great horse for almost any equestrian discipline. The breed has forever changed the world of racing due to its capacity to maintain high speeds over great distances. That's a really short description, like compared to the Shire or the Icelandic. I just feel like it's really short, but I mean, I guess, you know, apparently there's not much to them. They are available to level 1s, there is one in Fort Pinta, there is a black one in Fort Pinta, so it is available to non-star riders if you have the star coins. They have strength 1, discipline 2, swiftness 0, endurance 0, and agility 3. They are 890 star coins, as you can see I only have 37 star coins, I'm running low. Um, but yeah, they come in 3 colours. First colour is obviously this chestnut with, I believe, two socks, two white socks. I can't really see their back feet. And kind of like a snip and a star. It's not really a blaze. Then there is this flea bitten grey one, which I'm not a big fan of. I've never really been a huge fan of flea bitten greys on this game. I don't really like the way this one looks, just with all like the shadowing and the highlighting, it looks a bit off, but I still think it's pretty. So the third and final colour is the black one who is standing behind me, that is my one royal guardian, but I call him Elanon from the Shannara Chronicles. Um, so yeah, I did change his mane because I didn't like the original mane they came with, I'm not a fan of short manes, I, I'm really not, I like long manes. So I changed it to the longer mane. But as you can see, there's just a comparison next to a Shire and a Morgan. And obviously, the Shire is a lot bigger. But compared to the Morgan, they're probably about the same. If he'll just lift his head... Oh, no, they're both heads are down. Let me just wait. Yeah, so they, the Morgan and them, they're probably around the same height. I believe the English Thoroughbred is a tiny bit taller. Yeah, the English thoroughbred is a bit taller, but other than that, you know, they're, they're around the same height. Okay, so now I'm just sitting on him and we can just take a closer look. It's hard to see any, like, like initial details. There's not many details just because he's a black horse. But, yeah. He does look different. I believe they have like a narrower face and a longer face compared to like the um, Morgan or anything. And their neck is either longer. It's their neck isn't longer or shorter. I'd just say they hold their head higher. So obviously, well, this is in my opinion. They are super pretty and they look quite like regal and like 
they're supposed to be there, which is quite nice. And so now I'm going to go and show you the gates. Okay, so this is the walk. It's quite a nice walk. And they do have new animations and, like, new gates compared to the other horses. So this is just the walk. It's quite nice. It looks pretty natural. And we'll go into the trot, which I think is super pretty. I, th I think their trot is... Honestly, their trot is super pretty. Uh, let's pick up the canter. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm a bit iffy about this canter. I'll just go into the middle here and do a bit of a circle. I'm sorry for the um, area tags showing up. And, like, we'll just look... I just feel like they're putting a lot of weight on their hind legs. It might just be me. Like, I'm not a professional you know, equestrian. I'm not a professional horse trainer. I just ride horses. Um, you know, I know a decent amount, but I'm not, you know, I'm no professional. Um, we'll go into this gate, whatever you call this gate. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. And then just go into the gallop. I was going to gallop along this beach because it wasn't working where I was. And it's it's pretty nice. I think their neck looks a bit weird in this. I feel like it's like stuck on. It looks kind of like that, but... Um, we will stop. Um, yeah, it's okay. It doesn't look too different to like the Morgans or the Shires or anything. It doesn't look, you know, too, too different. We'll go into their rear, which is different. They put, they take a few steps back. And, it, and it's less up. It's more back. It's more like they're lashing out. And it's less like the quarters or anything. Yeah, this is the jump. It looks a bit different. So here we are in just the horse stylist place, as it is called. And so this was the original main. I was not happy with it. I did not like it. It was short and it was not nice. Let's see, that was his tail. Oh god, I do not want to give them dressage rain. These are the dressage braids or the rosettes. And then tail. And then this is the shorter version. And then this is this. Which is similar to this. Which I was kind of disappointed that they got kind of a generic remade hairstyle. Kind of sad. As you can see, their reins do not cut into the horse at all. Like, we'll go into the canter. And, like, it does not cut into their neck. Okay, well, maybe slightly. But not that much, which is nice. So that is it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it and leave a like and subscribe and comment down below as well. I'm still kind of bad at these reviews. Um, but, oh well, I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.